Hi, I'm going to tell you a little story and I'm going to show you something then later after the story. So last year I was surfing around web and I have no idea how but I found some pictures of a plant that I never seen before and I was like stunned. It's this gorgeous gigantic daffodil. It's bulb. Yeah, that's now you understand that uh, flower is like gigantic but daff daffodil and I look for more information and I found and it's um, epiphyte bulb so it's bulb but it's not growing on in ground in soil but so it's growing on trees same like orchids so of course I have to search more I look around and no seeds there no how to propagate so it's from seeds and I don't know offsets maybe I don't know but it's not much information about it so if and then I see there is seeds for sale in children children seeds and of course they order one packet and there was uh, this was 750 pounds five seeds but because it's Black Friday I got 30 percent off so okay that exciting times and then uh, my seeds and then my seeds arrived I didn't do anything because I knew they need a very warm environment to germinate until I didn't know anything until 5th February so 5th February I thought sorry that is car lorry is driving around so 5th February I took my seeds out packet I soaked them in warm water for almost 24 hours I added in water by a, a stimulator a little bit to just give a kick and next day was big preparation for sewing because everything should be like sterile, sterile as much as possible so grit was washed and and boiled kept kept in boiled water for a while and then it was water of the next next portion of boiled water peat was not peat but compost that i used that was stuck in a microwave and cooked there a ceramics mix as i told you it's epiphyte ceramics mix it's uh, orchid um, bark with um, like a piece of something i don't know what that's called so that was uh, three times uh, poured over i poured over three times boiled water and yes and then i got my pot it's like you have a big hole underneath and there's little holes and i saw i made everything right as i read in uh, a web I tried to do because there was there need pumix stuff and that but I use what I have at home so and I think I uh, I got success they are germinate I'm gonna show you them closer so it's I saw them 6th, 6th February and today's 22nd February and they germinate a while ago that is uh, yeah but today, today I was looking and I could see it's not just root, but it's look like it's gonna form forced leaf. Oh yeah, and now I'm gonna show you a bit closer. Now, and um, that is a bit close up. I wanna, I hope it's gonna focus. So I'm gonna take a little bag. It wasn't bad. Well, no. I will try to get close up and I want to show this one especially oh, it's getting brighter and brighter I don't know let's focus this is one who have a root and um, I think forced leaf forming so it was in hot press uh, un until t two days ago when I took it out and put it in the windowsill and I kept it in bag like the bag was open just keep uh, like uh, environment more steady there and um, I was open I didn't water it until yesterday then was really dry top because when it was in uh, hot press I had bag closed so, now there they are and uh, hopefully in a couple weeks will be forced leaves up strange isn't it to grow something bulbs on trees. Oh. Thank you for watching. 
and if you have interest I'm gonna keep you updated. Wish me luck and I talk with you soon. Goodbye.